Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna discuss the Joyo Atmosphere Reverb pedal. Let's get it. First and foremost, I do wanna address the fact that this is a sponsored video and Typically, I just kind of say that and leave it there, but guys, come on. This is Joyo. Joyo is sponsoring this video and I'm ecstatic about it. I received this pedal and immediately I was so impressed by its quality of build. And though these are still affordable products, I'm very happy to say that they are much more durable looking than some of their earlier models, such as the Joyo Vintage Overdrive. So I no longer kind of have that feeling of, will this pedal last me a long time? It does feel like, why not? I mean, this just seems to be just as sturdy as most pedals on the market. On the face of the pedal, you have a mix knob, a decay knob, and these two little knobs are for tone and modulation. They have a on and off toggle switch for the trails, meaning if you turn the pedal off, having the trails on, for example, will allow the pedal to decay versus harshly stopping. And of course, you have a variety of reverbs here everything from your more traditional reverbs such as plates and springs all the way through to stuff i've never heard of like forest and pulse and then interestingly enough the pedal comes equipped with these like led kind of things all over the pedal so it'll light up around the pedal itself as well really indicating if the pedal is on or off and if you don't like that feature you can take it all the way off with this little toggle switch in the back or if you like the pedal to always illuminate you can leave it always on but more importantly what does this thing actually sound like now we're going to go over every single reverb in this pedal very very quickly so we don't have much time to waste today i'm going to be using my fano sp6 with mr fabulous mini humbuckers in them and this is my clean tone <laughs> For the purpose of trying to get through this video, we're going to leave everything center as far as the mix and the decay, as well as the tone and the modulation feature. Let's start with the plate reverb. <laughs> I really love the fact that you can control the modulation on this pedal and the tone because you could probably dial in the plate reverb a little bit more. The thing about plates is they are metallic-y sounding, so they have this sort of ringing to them. And sometimes that gets in the way or even sounds sonically weird, at least to me personally while I'm playing. So the fact that I can maybe dial that back a little bit would be very, very helpful. Now we're gonna take a look at the church reverb. And to be honest with you, this is my go-to style reverb when I'm working within a DAW. It's warm and ambient, especially if you know how to tuck it under a mix really, really well. So I'm really intrigued in hearing what that sounds like in pedal form. <laughs> So far for me, of the two, that's my favorite. I would probably want to tweak it a little bit more to see what I can get out of it. But other than that, perfect. I really like that reverb. Let's move on to the spring and see what we get out of that. As an ambient player, I tend to not gel too much with spring reverbs because they move a little bit too much. But again, the fact that you have tone and modulation control, that's really, really massive. And I think that you could really make that into a usable reverb. But now I'm interested in hearing the echo reverb. I'm assuming that it probably is like a delay and a reverb in one. So let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs>
Well, we assume correctly, but you may have noticed something, a dramatic drop in volume. I didn't want to adjust this video to make it even in any kind of way, because I think that it's important that we hear that the pedal actually did that. I kind of had high hopes for it because, you know, you think reverb and delay in one, it's there's, there's some potential there. Let's move on to the shimmer. Now I'm going to warn you, I don't like shimmer. I really, really don't like shimmer. I've never been a fan of it. But I just want to hear what this sounds like naturally, how quick the shimmer kicks in, because sometimes it doesn't, and that frustrates me as an ambient player as well. So let's hear what that sounds like. I actually think that the shimmer setting on here sounds pretty good. The only issue that I have is something that I have with a lot of shimmers, which is that it doesn't kick in quick enough. There's an, an audible difference or a noticeable difference when it does kick in. So it takes a little bit of time for it to recognize the note and then match it with the octave up. Definitely something you should consider when thinking about purchasing this pedal and using it for that setting in particular. Let's move on to the comment. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to sound like. I'm assuming it's gonna be very spacey. Let's check it out. <laughs> So I guess it does have this little thing happening. If you listen very closely, there is this kind of like movement there. It's not as noticeable as I would have wanted it to be. So I'm not sure exactly what that reverb is emulating or if it's a thing that Joyo has created all, all on its own. Now we're gonna move on to the rewind. I don't know if I have a, a, a use for that kind of sound, but you just never know in a recording or gigging context what you might need a sound like that for. So let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's not something that is constantly rewinding, giving you that weird sound, maybe like a, a rewind setting on a digital delay from Boss. Um, this seems to be like kind of a pause and then rewinding the sound of the decay. So it's a vibe, it's a thing, not an always on type of a setting, but certainly something you can use in the context of where you would need to use it. Now the forest, what is this sound? I, I'm not 100% sure. What does it sound like? Let's check it out. <laughs> So the forest is actually very ambient sounding and I think it's meant to be something that is dedicated to the ambient players. The thing about ambient style reverbs like this when they are created to add its own personal element of ambience without your input is that you feel like you're not in control of that ambience. But a tweak of the modulation, messing with the tone knob a little bit, you never know what you can get out of this pedal and out of this sound. The one I'm probably most curious about out of all of these uh, settings here is the pulse. I'm not sure what it is and I wanna hear it, so let's check it out. So the pulse, if you listen carefully, seems to have this movement in there. It's literally pulsating. It almost sounds like there's a vibrato within the reverb setting, and I think that's very, very cool. I actually think that that sounds pretty good, and you could literally use it as an always on. You may want to back it off a little bit if you're using delays along with your reverb, but I think it's actually really, really nice and usable. Now that we've gone through all the sounds, I still think that out of all of them, the church is my favorite. I do like that they attempted to give us ambient 
ambient style reverbs, but I prefer to sort of create the ambience myself. So I'm gonna add my own tape delay on there. I'm gonna throw my overdrive on and see what kind of tones we can get. I'm also gonna adjust this pedal just a little bit. So we're gonna bring the mix to about one o'clock. We're also gonna bring the decay to about one o'clock. Then I'm gonna put the tone down to 10 o'clock and the mod to nine o'clock. So I think that's definitely my kind of tone. That's what the kind of sound that I go for here on a weekly basis as an ambient bass player. I really feel like this pedal is actually very, very usable. And the fact that it has so many options, even options that I would feel like I would never personally need, I love that. I think that options is an absolutely beautiful thing. And of course, my favorite part about this pedal is the fact that I have control over tone and modulation. So of course we covered all of the good things about this pedal. I did talk about some of the things I didn't like, but the biggest con for me personally is something that's a tad bit concerning and that's the way that the mix knob works. The mix doesn't essentially give you more reverb. What it actually seems to do is it seems to lower your input. So there is essentially tone loss by a volume drop. The more you raise that mix. So when I went from 12 o'clock to let's just say one o'clock, there was a noticeable drop in volume and that was concerning for me. I'm sure if we tweak some knobs, we may be able to get some of that life back. But the reality is that I want to be able just to raise the volume of the reverb without losing guitar signal, if that makes any sense. And it doesn't seem to work that way. It seems like, hey, it's either your guitar or the reverb. It's not both. However, the pedal does seem to be best suited at about 12 o'clock. And that's where I felt the volume was still normalized. And I didn't hear a volume drop until I went past that. But it's a good pedal. And I think that the price point is what is shocking about the whole thing. Though pricing does vary for this pedal brand new. I've seen it go from $75 brand new all the way up to about 90 bucks brand new. Regardless, it's still under that $100 mark. And for a reverb pedal, that's a pretty phenomenal price point. That's it for the Joyo Atmosphere reverb pedal. Please let me know in the comment section your thoughts. What did you think? Do you like this pedal? Did you like the tones that I got out of it? Are they usable? Did they surprise you and how good they were? Especially for it being a Joyo pedal. Pedal, which is typically known as a much more affordable pedal versus others in the market. While you're down there in the comment section, please do all the things that help this channel grow. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you get alert every single time I upload a video. Be sure to check out some of the affiliate links in the description box below. Click it on those links do help this channel out just a little bit. There's also a PayPal link where you can donate directly to this channel if you choose to do so. Thank you all so much for watching and until next week.